Welcome back to the show. Remember to follow Pre This on Instagram and on Twitter at Pre This Show. Now keep on the show rolling. You know we always bring you the best in highlights. So right now we all know about what it's been going on for ten years. Weddy Weddy, big dance hall party. One of the few parties who still portray that real dance hall vibe. And Weddy Weddy tenth anniversary was ten times their natural Weddy. Pre This everybody. One of the longest running weekly dance hall events in Jamaica, Weddy Weddy recently marked its 10th anniversary. Dance hall enthusiasts and fashionistas make this event their choice for entertainment each and every week. Winston Weepow Powell, the main person behind the staging of Weddy Weddy, talks about the event and its growth over the years. 10th anniversary of Weddy. We start at one with Mr. Waki, Bogle, Elephant Man, and myself, we found. And now we are 10 strong. I got to big up everybody who supported the Weddy throughout the years in which you know where the Weddy I'm to be. Dance Hall University, Institute of Higher Learning, musically. I want to big up everybody who turned out here tonight supporting, and it's all good. Reggae artist Nesbeth gave Weddy Weddy the thumbs up. Who's part me there? Weddy Weddy, 10th anniversary. R.I.P. to Bogle, one of the founders of Weddy Weddy. Bogle, Elephant Man, Father Way Fowl. You see me I said, on a 10th anniversary, going strong. Dance hall artist Elephant Man had his say about the Weddy Weddy event. You don't know we have to pray this, keep it tricky car. You don't know energy got in the building, pray this, you don't know. Up, waiting gone, way up, kaboom, pray this. Bullet. This patron had this to say about Weddy Weddy. Weddy Weddy, 10th anniversary. Everything good. Everything all right. Wessie Wessie. Big up yourself, my general. Anyway, Eddie. Here we are going. Everything up. Here's a snapshot from scenes at the 10th anniversary celebrations of Weddy Weddy. Siva, 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 I am from Jamaica. Where we Dancer Colo Colo and regular Weddy Weddy patron Baby Vane were presented with awards at the event. Right now we bring you highlights from the launch of the Lime School Aid, the biggest, biggest back to school event in the history of the Caribbean. Check this out right now, Lime School Aid, pretty. this. Lime recently launched the fifth staging of its annual Lime School Aid. This year, there are three lead-up events, one each in St. James, St. Elizabeth and Clarendon. Then on Sunday, August 24 at Jamrald in Portmore, the main school aid event will take place. Minister of Youth and Culture Lisa Hanna tells us her thoughts on the school aid event and Lime's contribution to education in Jamaica. I feel great. I, I, certainly we need as many partners involved in the protection and the development of our children and this is such a great initiative because many children want to feel comfortable going back to school. Many parents want their children to know that they're taking the responsibility in making them comfortable in going back to school. Some parents can't do it on their own and so when corporate sponsors step forward like this it's, it's truly an admirable quality and it really redounds to the best interests of the community and the peace of mind of our children, which is a great thing for the country. Lime Managing Director Gary Sinclair spoke about the plans for the 2014 staging of the Lime School Aid event. School Aid is the fifth year now we're in Lime School Aid and we're going to go around the region with it for the first time in a while. We'd, as you know, in the past relegated it largely to Portmore and we'd usually go two days, Saturday and a Sunday. Now we're going to go one day this year, but we're going to go around the island to Montego Bay, to Clarendon and we're going to go to St. Anna as well. We thought that back to school time is probably the most stressful time on the average family's lives given the expense uh, and all of the trauma involved with sort of getting if you have more than one child as well, ready to go back to school with all of the school uniforms, the bags, the books, the school fees. So we said, let's engage in a back to school initiative that's going to help 
a lot of these families and the children get back to school and transition from the summer holidays as easily as possible. We spent more than a quarter billion dollars over the five years on the initiative. We've helped hundreds of thousands of families with stuff like haircuts, with medical checks, with dental checks, with ophthalmology checks. Uh, we've given them school bags, we've issued scholarships, uh, and we've had allowed them to have a bit of fun as well before they get back to school. So all in all, we think we've created probably the most impactful event, certainly on our calendar every year. Cornelia Nathan, the brand manager for Flavor Splash, explains her company's involvement in the Lime School Aid event. This is our second year that we are actually on board and it was a great opportunity and we felt the need to come back on board again because giving back to the community, giving back to the kids, back to school, you know it's hard at that time for the parents so it's a grand opportunity to give Flavor Splash through Pepsi-Cola the grand opportunity to give back. The Lime School Aid brand has grown significantly in the past five years. Carlo Redwood from Lime sheds some light on this. Really it's about growing the brand, giving back more to more areas, to more, more children. This experience is the same, you know, the, the, the medical clinic, the dental, the, the, the barber shop, the amusement park, the entertainment. It's going to be the same thing in Portmore, but we're trying to extend that now into other areas. It's the most important product that we have. I mean, we have a number of products that we sponsor. We're involved in, but to us, this is the biggest thing. It's our opportunity to give back to the kids, to give back to the families when they need more help. More than any before, going back to school, they don't have the money, they can't do the medicals, they can't do the dentals. This is the biggest product for us. It's about valuing every moment. It's about giving back to our customers who have supported us. We are the fastest growing, you know, telecom brand. We're growing leaps and bounds, a lot more customers coming on board. So we have to give back to Jamaica. And what better way could we give back but give back to the kids, to give back to the families, and to support education, which is really what Lime is all about through the Lime Foundation. You're watching previous with your host Cruddy and we're going for a final commercial break. When we get back we have a lot more calls. You still haven't seen the top 10 chart. Previous, we're coming back soon. Keep it locked.